hey what's up everybody it's kb here so if we look at the desktop browser market share uh, we can see that chrome browser is still in number one place with 66.19 percent of desktop browser market share but in second place surprise surprise it's the microsoft edge yes so it looks like people are starting to use microsoft edge uh, more than before uh, there is only one reason why uh, because the new microsoft edge browser is now based on uh, chromium same as the chrome so you'll get the same experience as you get from the chrome browser so basically they are the same thing but made by the different companies and uh, microsoft edge uh, comes pre-installed on windows pc uh, it's actually pretty good because it's based on chromium so people like uh, just use it uh, i'm one of those people yeah i also use it sometime for different things so yeah it's pretty good but in this video we are gonna do test some tests performance and site load and everything whatever we can to see is edge better than the chrome should we switch to the edge or we stick with the chrome let's just jump into the test okay we're gonna do some tests it's going to be my personal opinion whichever browser wins uh, wins okay it's just my personal opinion let's have some fun so i have created a new profiles for both chrome and edge i haven't installed any extensions i haven't done any settings or whatsoever okay they are fresh out of the box uh, chrome and edge i have installed only one extension on both browsers that is page load time just to see which browser opens the websites faster and that's all i have done no settings no nothing it's clean okay now first let's test which browser is using more resources ram and cpu since they are both in out of the box experience i haven't done any settings we can see that microsoft edge is using more memory than the chrome almost double you can see here even though chrome is using nine processes in the background still it is managing to uh, use less memory uh, there is no cpu activities which is a good thing because they are both in idle mode uh, one point goes to uh, the chrome because it uses less memory compared to edge uh, at least for out of the box experience all right i forgot to do these chrome gets one point let's talk about the interface out of the box experience okay you know if you're someone who likes bing and uh, the bing news and microsoft news and whatever so we can see uh, in microsoft edge we have uh, lots of things going on in the startup homepage, uh, news weather and whatever and this may be the reason why microsoft edge is using more ram compared to uh, chrome which is still bad if you're someone who likes something like this i mean it's good for you i mean i i think still people will prefer the clean interface for you know start a venue open your browser you just have a clean uh, page where you just type something and look for something that you're looking for all right if we want to customize the browser we can simply download extensions such as this one uh, which i will make a video uh, this is the extension that i use to customize my you know page the new tab page and it's pretty cool in my opinion browser should be clean when you open this so another point goes to uh, chrome because uh, it's clean compared to uh, edge don't get me wrong here i mean you can customize it you can set whatever page or website you want uh, to appear when you launch the browser I mean but we are just talking about the out of the box experience right so chrome wins search engine i mean edge is obviously going to use the bing because <laughs> it's by the microsoft okay if you search for google okay it tells you that they have bing please use us okay <laughs> let's 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 try uh, in google bing i'm gonna search that apparently google doesn't do that okay <laughs> google is like okay whatever if you want to use bing use it microsoft is like please uh, use us promoted by microsoft please use us don't go 
but I'm gonna go anyway. <laughs> For this, we are not going to give a point uh, because uh, as we all know, Google search is the most popular uh, search engine. So people might just prefer uh, Google.com as their default search engine. We can also switch, you know, do the settings and whatnot. Make Google.com as our default search engine in Edge browser too. We can do that, okay? So we're not gonna give any point to any of them because it will be biased yeah <laughs> they both equal they, they they have rights to promote their own thing on their own product so we're just gonna let this thing as it is again we can look at the resource usage on both browsers when we have the same websites opened on both browsers so it looks like in this category microsoft edge is using less ram and CPU. Um, they both are in google.com okay and uh, we can see that Chrome is actually using more uh, not that much like 20 megabyte more than the uh, Edge browser not huge difference but still Edge takes the win here we, we, it deserves okay only the startup homepage is really bad of Edge browser, which makes uh, Edge to use more CPU and RAM. But when we put same things on both browsers, actually Edge is superior. Yes, not by many percentage, but little bit. Okay, so we're going to give that point to Edge. I already given it. <laughs> okay, page load time. I'm going to copy the google.com. Okay. Uh, this this right here is the timer at the top you can see 0.27 seconds which was last recorded and 0.72 seconds in edge right we're gonna do this one more time in fear okay maybe one or two times same google.com hit enter 56 seconds we're gonna do the same thing in edge 66 seconds again we're gonna do that google.com 56 seconds okay again google.com 59 seconds okay last time okay one more time uh, 59 seconds uh, one more time 58 percent uh, seconds uh, 49 and so clearly we can see that google chrome is opening the websites faster we're gonna give the point uh, we can test the other websites too, but this is one of the simplest and fastest websites to load. So yeah Now let's test with the youtube.com. All right, uh, that's the most visited website I mean the video that you're watching right now is also on YouTube. Okay, we're gonna do that BAM in Chrome we have 1.85 again in edge okay 1.91 85 91 again we're gonna do the same thing just quickly okay we are not gonna waste any time 142 136 one more time okay it looks like in every test chrome is loading the sites faster okay again uh this time we're gonna do my website okay this is a my website i'm gonna do just quickly in here it will be a little bit slow because i haven't bought any domain names okay i'm gonna do that 5.66 seconds wow okay oh edge loads the my my website loads faster in edge somehow <laughs> okay we're gonna give that uh, 2.79 maybe there was some error from the chrome side but uh, in first result edge one okay one more time okay uh yeah i mean chrome just wins okay overall in any website chrome wins yeah, there are a few seconds difference, but Chrome clearly wins. We can see here the results are here. All right. Resource usage is still like equal, almost equal. 
let's do with the youtube.com actually that's a little bit heavy website let's let's do that yeah in ram side the memory usage is higher in chrome okay i'm gonna refresh the youtube.com in chrome so let's see what is the highest peak of uh, the cpu usage i'm gonna refresh it 13 19 okay it was 20 almost 20 all right we're gonna do the same thing in edge okay we're gonna look at the peak of cpu usage 16 uh, okay 17 19 yeah it's it's almost the same it's almost the same all right it's almost the same but we're gonna give this point overall cpu and ram usage less less ram usage it goes to uh, the edge okay two points it gets two points <laughs> now let's talk about the final thing which one is more bloated uh, we can see clearly see just by opening the browser edge browser is more bloated than the google chrome you'll hardly find anything in chrome i mean if you go to the google.com or something you'll find lots of products there but they are all hidden and many people just use it let's say for example search the google account gmail everything almost everybody uses uh, google products which is a good thing <laughs> okay yeah, on the other side uh, microsoft edge is more bloated i don't know how to get rid of i think i can get rid of this like this okay it's gone i don't know how to make that thing back again okay whatever i'm lost here okay i show sidebar here okay it is turned on by default i don't know why maybe microsoft thinks that this is cool so yeah they have some products maybe some people use it or not but i think overall microsoft edge is more bloated compared to chrome so in bloat section we're gonna give a point to chrome because it's less bloated Let, let's be honest here okay i mean this is just my personal opinion i gave so many points to chrome i mean most of them should have made sense in my opinion overall chrome browser is still better than the edge browser that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or any suggestions please do the comment i'll be very happy to reply you we can have some chit chat in the comments right yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye